Hey parents, this is Mrs. Willis. Um, I teach first grade at Northridge and um, I just wanted to make this video to share with you guys how the district is planning on going about the rest of the year and um, giving you advice and um, just um, giving you some information that you might have um, questions on. So first off, um, I would suggest that as a family, you guys come up with some sort of schedule at home because um, I, at least I know for myself and my family, we are coming up with a schedule. My husband is also a teacher and we have a three-year-old son. And so we need to come up with some sort of how the day is going to go. So we know that we all have time to do our schoolwork and that we um, devoted some time to being with him and playing with him and have uh, teaching him too because he would be in um, his pre-k program at this time learning things so we want to continue that and so we are coming up with some sort of schedule now um our schedule is going to look different than everybody else's schedule because our dynamics at home are different some of you guys might be working from home some of you guys might still be having to go to work um, your child might be going to someone else for child care at this time. So you guys, your day is going to look different than our regular school day, and that's okay. Um, but I would encourage you guys to set up a time, you know, for your um, child to do their work, but also do have playtime or, you know, things like that. And so that way it doesn't seem um, like maybe a power struggle getting them to do work if you set time saying, okay, from this time to this time, you guys are needed to do this activity and then you can go play. Um, having those guidelines and those procedures out right away might just help them um, not feel so overwhelmed too. So a letter will be available for all parents on Sunday night. And this is just um, the district going over how the rest of the year is going to be to kind of summarize it up um, the department heads of our, our math department, our ELA, which is English Language Arts, like reading, phonics, that kind of thing, um, science and social studies have come up with about, I think, four to five, um, it might be a little less or a little more in some grades, standards that we have already gone over. It's nothing going to be new. Um, but that we've already gone over in each grade and they are coming up with activities that you guys can do at home. And these activities are um, going to reinforce those objectives, those skills. A letter that will be available to you guys Sunday night, which um, is when I'm probably going to send this video out. This is just kind of um, detailing what I just went over and those are the standards that they um, you can click on those links and they will take you to the standards that they chose also what you guys can do is there are a, a resource page this is an addition so if you click on this and you go to um, the grade so I teach first well I'll just look at pre-k right now these are all um, resources online that the district has come up with that you guys can, can um, do uh, different sites that are offering either like I think discounted I think they're all free um, offering free educational sites that you guys can get on and do so again that link is right here where it says resource pages so over here is the continuous learning lessons and you can see down here it is um, giving advice at least with elementary and their secondary down there that with pre-k through kindergarten um, these activities um, shouldn't be more than 45 minutes a day first through fifth an hour and 20 minutes. Um, again this is why I say that when you come up with kind of a schedule of how your day is going to be it's not going to look like a normal school schedule and that's okay. We're not at school so we have to just kind of be flexible and um, get around it and see the best that we can do for our, our students and our children. This um, letter you'll click on this link which it's on um, our activities, our continuous learning activities are on the Putnam City website under academics. You can see right there. Um, and so what you're going to do is you'll scroll, scroll down and this will be available every Monday. And this will be our first week. So you'll click on that. 
um, you go to where you need whatever your child is in. I'm going to click, since I'm a first grade teacher, going to click on elementary, first grade. Oh, here, I wanted to go back and just say um, kindergarten pre-K, you guys are down here. So don't freak out if you don't see it, you guys up top. So you'll click on first grade and I'm going to first show ELA, which again is English language arts. Objectives and the approximate time, which um, this is going into that hour and a half that they suggested for first grade. It will say the reading materials you need and then directions. Okay, so it's reader's choice menu. And so you will see a bunch of activities here and the resources are all down below. Uh, but it says choose one to two activities daily. Okay, so I kind of zoomed out so you can see it better. I'm not going over these activities right now, um, but I, so I just wanted to have you guys get a feel about what it is. And so there is different activities and it explains how long and what resources you need for each one of them. And after you get through all of that is the materials that you can use with it. So this is like going with that first activity and then there's writing activities to go with it. I would like to um, remind all parents that you don't necessarily need a printer to do these activities. You could um, always save this, I think as a PDF on your computer and um, have them type it out. Or this is, you know, something where the, with the passages, they can read it. And then if you guys just have a blank piece of paper, you can do the writing and drawing activity on that. You don't have to use this. This is just available if you'd like it and you have printer access. But again, don't worry if you don't have printer access. That is totally fine. Um, one thing I wanted to tell uh, at least my class and then um, if anybody else is interested in it, what I am going to attempt to do... Um, every week is kind of teach in a video those activities and um, post them on my um, Google Docs website, which I'll put that link to in, or link in my information um, on my YouTube page. So you can look at that um, the, on the description part. And um, if you guys, and now I'm just gonna be doing the first grade because that's what I teach and I don't have time to do all the other grades. Um, uh, but I'm going to attempt my best to do all of those activities. I might not get to all of them. And if I don't, then I'll write on my web pages, the ones that I didn't get time to do, but reminding you that you guys can still do those. And, um, I'll do the math as well. I'm math and ELA are going to be my top priorities, science and social studies. If I get that time, I will do those as well. Just a reminder, my husband's a teacher at home two and we have our three-year-old son so making all those videos um, might get a little difficult and so that's why I said I will try my best but I will at least uh, really focus on that ELA and math and try to get those and again anybody can um, look at those I don't care if you know any other first grade people in the district that will be doing these similar activities and you want to share it with them you guys can um, but I just wanted to do that for my students so that you know I'm still teaching. I feel like I'm being a part of y'all's learning and not just sharing you this information and stepping back. Um, so again, parents, I wanted to say, try not to stress too much. If you guys have any questions, please, please let me know. I will do my best to answer them and, um, or, or find the answers or guide you to someone who knows the answers. This is a very interesting, um, just world we're living in right now. And um, no, I never thought in a lifetime I'd be doing something like this, but here we are and we're going to grow from it. We're going to learn from it. And I know that we'll come out of it stronger than ever. I'm just looking on the positive side. So again, ask me any questions that you might have and I will get to you guys with that. Thank you. All right, so parents, I wanted to show you all my uh, website, my Google website that I have. It says, welcome to our virtual classroom. Here you will find links to different educational sites. You will also find links to my YouTube page where I've recorded journal entries, phonics lessons, math lessons, sight word game activities, crafts and science activities. 
Over here is my contact information, office hours Monday through Friday, eight to four. This is my Google uh, voice phone number. It is used as a red regular phone number. You will call it on your phone, but um, it will access to my computer. And there is a voice message and a messaging system in case I don't answer. You guys can leave a voice message and a or a text message is just like you would normally do on a regular on your cell phone. Then there is my email address right there, dwillis at putnamcityschools.org. All right, so to access these, um, there's a it's a down area over here, but I actually feel like I think on your phone it's a little bit different. I think it's all very um vertical and I think the like these um links are on the left side so if it's not on the right side look on the left side so here they are and you can click on any of them and it'll bring you to the page so here are my journal entries that I have I started doing some these past couple of weeks and so here they are if you would like to do them as uh, the past ones I'll have the these week's ones up soon. So those are my journal entries. Then I have my phonics lessons. And these are the past ones that I just kind of did for fun on my YouTube page. And these are going to be those activities that um, the district provided that I will do videos teaching those and have it there. Similar with math. Now, sight word games. Um, I just kind of showed different fun games that you guys can do at home. And I think I'm just going to do one a week. But where you, you can play memory with your sight words. You can play hopscotch with them. Go fish. Things like that with your uh, students. Or your children. Which are kind of like your students now. Huh. <laughs> Then I have the science and craft, which I'll add the social studies to this. And I just did some fun science things at home with my family and a chicken craft. I might just do kind of a fun page of activities. Um, I don't have the links yet to educational sites, but I think I'm going to put up those uh, that link from Putnam City of all those websites that they came up with that you guys can use. So that link will be there. Then I said have other first grade teachers. So this is the first grade team at Northridge um, and Miss Bucala, Mr. Alba, Miss Spurgeon, and Miss Cates. And their websites are activities that they um, have going on that you guys can have access to. Um, but yep, that's my website. I just wanted to kind of go over that with you so you guys can understand how that will look. Thank you.